This is Bartholomew. He is a simple and humble fawn, the only fawn on earth. He's quite a withdrawn character, but he enjoys the subtle things in life, like counting clouds and talking to trees. Sadly and unsurprisingly, Bartholomew doesn't have many friends. His most loyal friend is his favorite tree, Darius. Darius is a kind and gentle old tree. He isn't the strongest tree, nor the tallest, but his knowledge of Nordic literature and acid rock is second to none. More importantly, he is a caring friend to Bartholomew. Although Bartholomew is lonely and is known for his overtly eccentric behavior, quirky sensibilities, and kooky yet distasteful clothing, these are not the reasons for his sorrow. He's in love, in love with a girl that doesn't know he exists. That is the true reason for his despondency. This girl is named Belafonte. She is a human, a human with a peaceful aura and soft eyes like Siberian snow. Unlike Bartholomew, she is known for her effortless smile and her sunny disposition. She likes to pass the time of day with endearing little habits, like adding extra sugar to people's tea while they're not looking. Belafonte is the girl, the girl of Bartholomew's very own folktale. When our problems seem unanswerable and our future seems inevitably sad, where do we find the strength to continue? Some find comfort in music or personal faith. For Bartholomew, help came from a loving friend, Darius the Tree. I know you're trying to help Darius. But I don't have time for your incomprehensible riddles. If I got rid of my horns, maybe Belafonte wouldn't think I was such a freak. Deep down, Bartholomew is proud of his race and could never harm anything, himself included. The idea of any living creature in pain makes his heart ache. Getting rid of my horn things didn't really work out. I know I should have listened to you, but I thought I had the answer. Okay, I'll do that. I trust you. Wise words are worthwhile, especially from a friend.